Good people, how are you doing? My name is Jerolzi Manningada, but y'all can call me JZ. As you can see today, we're going to be doing a get to know me tag. Yes, I know you guys have got a lot of questions. You obviously want to know a bit more about your girl, so you better stay tuned right here. And thank you so much to the Vascana Vekwedu crew for having me. Take it away. Let's check it out. Alright, so the first question is, who's Geraldine? Well, my name is Geraldine Diana Maningeda and I don't know why people always say Kutanzi, I say Maningeda, like that's, that's not the way I'm supposed to say my surname, but it's Geraldine Diana Maningeda and my family usually calls me GD, that's shortcut for Geraldine Diana and I'm 27 years of age. I stay in Greendale, born and bred in the city of Harare and I'm a mother of one. I've got a son and he's two. He's like totally adorable. I'm not just saying it because he's my son, guys. He's cute. And uh, I started Bachelor of Arts in Media Studies. And I also majored in uh, Business Promotion and Public Relations and Marketing as well. Okay. Words that describe you. Fine, I don't know where that described me as in how I look at it or my character or what. I'm sure to you guys, that's the first thing that people noticed when I got here. Yeah, I'm short, but okay, I'm a bubbly person. And well, my friends and my family could say that I'm talkative. I don't know, I don't really get it, guys. I don't know this is a But I'm a loving person, and yeah, I'll say that. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how crazy are you? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm not that crazy. I'm actually a very normal person. Guys, there are crazy people out there. But maybe I would say something like mm, 5. 5 out of a 10, okay? And why TV? Well, basically, I've always been passionate about uh, broadcasting. Television has always been my thing, guys. Ever since I was growing up, you know what? I would actually look up to, you know, the likes of Makanaka. She was, like, totally on point. She was the real deal when it comes to uh, being a television presenter. So I've always wanted to be on TV, be a television personality, and I've always been passionate about it. It, it has always been one of my biggest dreams and I'm I'm really thankful actually I'm thankful that at least I got the chance to um, actually have a chance to do it and obviously uh, it's actually one of my talents as well so yeah I've always loved TV that's the reason why I chose it um, the all right, the first time in front of the camera, guys, it was nerve wracking. I was like totally, totally scared. I didn't know what, what was going to happen. Obviously, I knew this is it. This is what I want to do. But the first time I was actually invited as a guest presenter on Star Kids because the, all right, the first show I did was, act, was actually Child Elite. But after they invited me on Star Kids as a guest presenter, and then that's how I got, um, that's how I got a job on Child and It is a presenter. But the first time I was really scared. It was never wrecking. I didn't know if I was gonna make a mistake or if people were gonna take me seriously. But you know what? Since I wasn't the one who was anchoring the whole thing, it was actually pretty easy. So it wasn't that bad, but obviously I was really nervous. And um, the other one is, did you always want this career path? Of course, I've always said, I've always wanted to be a television personality, especially in the broadcasting field, presenting. Guys, I've always loved it. And there are certain people I looked up to. My aunt, actually, from my dad's side, she's my dad's cousin, Priska Otete. She's the one who also mentored me, and I looked up to her. I really liked the way she, you know, spoke, especially on television, her confidence, everything. It was really inspiring. And Makanaka Wakatama, I loved it everything that she did on camera so yes i've always wanted to be on tv and another one is other career parts that interest you i'm actually into events management as well yeah uh and i think um i've done one or two movies 
they haven't really gotten out but i'm also into acting as well though i don't really major in acting you know i major in television but yes i'm also into events planning i recently did uh, a mother's day picnic lunch and the turnout was actually amazing i don't know i just get this adrenaline you know when i'm organizing events it's actually not that hard i actually love doing it so yeah who and what inspires you the most well i'd say my son he inspires me the most of course i love him so much but you know just from a perspective of being a loving parent you know the way he tries to discover himself every day trying to discover his talents it inspires me in a way because um it reminds me of when i was young you know it just reminds me of me trying to discover my talents as well and trying to discover who i am and he just inspires me and yeah everything that i do i do it for my son and um, and what's your favorite song i wouldn't say i have a favorite song i actually have a lot of favorite songs but of late i've been loving pop smoke a lot i'd say my favorite artist for now is pop smoke of course it's cute guys because honestly in Rugo's heart, you're just gonna say ah it's because he's cute but i don't know his music is unique his voice is unique he does his own thing it's just different from everyone else so yes i've been loving pop smoke hey guys i love winky d a lot <laughs> his music is like a hundred tantiga winky d is my favorite artist and he just does the things for me okay and the other one is uh three things you can three things you can live without or three things that i can't live without that I cannot live without. Hey guys, three. Ciao and Lisa. Well, I can't live without my phone, obviously. Because the first thing that I check is my phone when I wake up. And it, I want to check updates on Insta, on WhatsApp, obviously on Facebook. What's trending? What's been happening? What did I miss when I was sleeping? And who was looking for me? And I can't live without my family, obviously. My mom, my dad, my siblings. I've got two elder brothers. Uh, they both live in, live in South Africa, but obviously I talk to them every day and I can't live without my son So I can't live without my phone my family and I can't live with God Obviously not guys. I cannot because whatever I want to do I put it in God's hands first and I know that he's just gonna pave the way for me and make everything happen <laughs> But guys, I can't also live without food <laughs> Now how do you survive? Mm, there's no way. Mm, it's like it's hard I don't know what I'm going to choose, but it has to be God. It has to be God. But guys, food. <laughs> okay. And the other one is describe the first time you saw yourself on TV. Well, the very first time I actually saw myself on TV, it was actually a pre-recorded. The thing is, I started uh, presenting on Child Elite, right? But the first people who saw me on TV were my mom and my dad, because that time I was still in school. So when the first show appeared, I was actually still at school. And I had to hear it from my mom and my dad that the first show was actually off the chain. And big up to my parents, they've always been there for me through thick and thin. They supported me in everything that I wanted to do. And I'm super, super grateful. So the first time, so then my dad actually had to pre-record the show then so that i see it like after school so it was really cool i couldn't believe it was me it was serial the moment was that serial like is this really happening am i actually living my fantasy you know type of thing and uh the other one is any new things coming up well i can't really mention but obviously expect more event planning from me and i'm also going to be doing advertising and marketing i've been working with different brands on social media using my social media platforms on instagram and on facebook i've worked with the likes of posh tumors designs i've worked with uh Glamour Boutique, I've worked with uh, Testimonies Magazine, I've worked with uh, a lot of brands, guys, just to mention a few. And so I'm going to be doing more social media marketing and advertising, trying to use my platform. And I'm also going to be into events planning. And obviously, I'm going to be focusing and majoring as uh, being a television presenter, presenter. And yeah, that's my, that's my trade, after all. And uh, the other one is... Um, uh, best advice you've ever been given. Okay. 
Best advice I've ever been given is to follow my dreams, okay? Follow your dreams, follow your wishes, everything you actually aspire to be will actually come true. And the sky is never the limit. Never limit yourself, okay? Never think otherwise and never doubt yourself. You need to go out there, grab your destiny by the horns and run. So yes, it's been really great. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching the Get to Know Me tag. And of course, my name is Jordi Marangara. You guys can call me Jason. And I'm signing out. Thank you so much to the rest of the crew behind the scenes and to the Scanavi Baby crew. Thank you so much for having me.